heard one is out. <laughs> nice. I heard that. Thank you. Great, John. Nice job. Astronauts outside Atlantis went to work on a broken camera on the Hubble Space Telescope, which was never meant to be fixed in space. It's sort of like the NASCAR, you know, changing the tires. <laughs> It's, it's, it's rather amazing. And you saw John do that today with the fastener capture plate on ACS, and he had 30-some-odd screws to take out, and it went really fast. We didn't have the clock on it, but it just seemed to go really smoothly. Removing the screws and circuit boards was supposed to be the most difficult part of the mission, but years of training paid off. For each of the hours that the astronauts spend in an EVA, they spend uh, 15 to 20 hours in the pool at the neutral buoyancy tank, uh, in Houston or at Goddard Space Flight Center handling actual hardware. In this pool. Space Flight Now's Miles O'Brien is the only reporter to swim in the astronaut training pool in Houston, also called the Neutral Buoyancy Lab, or NBL. He joined John Grunsfeld during a Hubble mission practice session. Give us a sense of how valuable this training is. We're going to go out into space in a vacuum in an environment that is totally different than anything on planet Earth. Here at the NBL, neutrally buoyant in the water is the closest we can come to being in space. So this is our most valuable training. Okay, we'll see what we got. The mission's we'll third the, spacewalk uh, also saw the addition of a new science tool for Hubble, the Cosmic okay. Origins Spectrograph, which can determine the mass, motion, temperature, and composition of distant matter in the universe. Uh, when I walked out the door, uh, I did a Tiger Woods uh, fist pump uh, at the conclusion uh, of, of the COS installation and aliveness test. Drew and uh, uh, John Grunsfeld just burned through the checklist, and uh, they got this entire EVA done in, what was it, six hours and 35 minutes when the expectation was that it might be one of the longest EVAs of the mission. NASA's goal is to extend Hubble's life by five years and have six fully functioning instruments on the telescope for the first time. David Waters, SpaceFlightNow.com.